Dan Lefevre marches his Chippewas into Ford Field for the third time in five years, looking for another MAC championship. Well, let's grab your popcorn, soda, and hot dog as Dan the Man Lefevre and the Chippewa show you how to win on the big stage in the Motor City in Ford Field for a MAC championship. Well, the first possession didn't go as well as they wanted to as the Chippewas throw it into the red zone, but Antonio Brown gets just whacked there in his incomplete pass. After that, Dan Lefevre throws his one mistake of the game. It's an interception to the wrong player. But minutes later, the Chippewas drive back down and find Cody Wilson in the same end zone for the first touchdown of the game and a 7-0 eventual lead. Now the Chips defense, man, do they play tough. They went for the ball here on the bottom of this pile after Theo Scott cannot throw a good pass, and they find themselves back in the red zone once again. Now the Chippewas are getting stopped here at the red zone by the Ohio defense as they played pretty good and kept some big pressure on Dan Lefevre, making him throw an errant pass here, but no worries, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Aguilar makes it a 10 to nothing lead in the first quarter after that. Well, Ohio goes on a receiver reverse pass here. They don't even throw a touchdown with their quarterback, but they still get the touchdown. They're one and only of the game, making it 10 to seven. And Brian Schroeder has a great game rushing there for 10 yards as the Chippewas drive back down to the red zone, but come away empty handed as Andrew Aguila misses there. Well, no worries, ladies and gentlemen, as Brian Anderson catches this ball with his glued hands and goes in for a 17 to 10 Chippewa lead. Now, Theo Scott had a lot of problems tonight. As you can see, the Chippewas nailed to the ground on their way to a MAC championship. And of course, Lefevre was the MVP. Though his offensive play did look a little sloppy tonight with one interception, Dan Lefevre still lit up the scoreboard for 255 yards and two touchdowns passing. He also became the NCAA's all-time touchdown leader tonight in the 20-10 CMU victory. For New Central 34 Sports, I'm Kevin Drescher.